everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, as promised in my community tab, I'm going to be going over this. Uh, I'm thinking this this tutorial, watch me kind of like figuring things out series is going to be a series of videos. I don't think I'm, I'm going to be able to show you how I made this dress within two videos. So it'll, it'll be it'll be a few. Um, but if you have seen this dress online, and and again, like I said uh, in my community tab, this woman wanted to get a quinceanera dress for her daughter. Saw this dress on Amazon. Um, with prior knowledge of, you know, horrible wish uh, purchases and AliExpress, she was kind of like, "Well, I don't want to take the chance. Um, this this dress come in and it's just." A disaster this is this is her telling me also but you know this is a common thing that I see um, when people bring me stuff that they want me to alter I have a, a previous video on behind the scenes where I'm talking about a wedding dress that what that was a disaster that a person ordered off of uh, some some website she saw somewhere and um, it was all wrong you can check out that video if you want to I'll put a card up here somewhere so you can check it out um so yeah like i said she didn't want to take the chance having this dress be a disaster because i told her if that happens you know it's going to be like you're paying for two dresses um it'll be just be cheaper if if i can make you the dress and we'll get it as close as possible but at least you know it'll fit because you can come in for fittings so we agreed on that um so we did a little bit of of researching and stuff we wanted to get the correct um, peacock, and I'll show you a picture right now of the dress again. So she found this, and I'll put all links below. She found this on Etsy, and when I put it up against the black fabric, because what I have here, what, what I'm about to show you is the mock-up. Whenever you do special occasion stuff, and you're not 100% sure if the store-bought pattern is going to fit you. You're going to have to do adjustments. You're going to have to grade it to your size, which is the term grading it to alter it to your size. Um, you know, you, you use really crappy fabric like I have here. She tried it on. I, I, I literally put notes on the dress, like in pen here, where I need to resize and take stuff in. So I know when I go and I turn this back into a flat paper pattern, um, it'll be even closer to her fitting and then when I do the, the actual dress in black with the peacock um, applique over it um, we're just getting closer and closer to to having it fit perfectly so she bought because she's gonna have two dresses she's gonna have the one that I'm showing you and then she's gonna have another dress that is like a tool bottom but again has the same peacock motif on it but I'm just showing you how to make the the long gown so she bought two of these. Um, this is, I don't know if you can see it. This is one. So she got two of them. And that two of them, I, I think, will, will do the job pretty well to cover one dress. Because the whole dress, as you saw, it's, it's just kind of like the whole front and almost down the thigh has the peacock thing. And then there's just a little bit in the back that, that comes around. So we bought two of these. Now for the pattern, basically you want to get any um, store-bought pattern that has a sweetheart neckline. As you can see, oh, the lighting, okay. You can see it's like, like a heart, sweetheart ne neckline. Um, I happen to have this pattern and I was just like, you know, like let's, let's see how it works out, you know what I mean? Instead of having to like do one from scratch, I was like, let me try this pattern out. So I have this vintage pattern. It is Simplicity 62, what is it? 6241. It's a bridal, but I I thought the, the bodice was, was pretty freaking close to what the picture was. Um, and it's a very simple bodice, which is why I'm going to go further down the line as, as we... Because this is just an ex explanation introductory video to get you prepped for your materials and what to expect before you tackle the cutting of the actual fabric and 
you're at a point of no return at that point. You know what I'm saying? So I cut, I cut out this pattern and I already did the mock-up. Like I was saying, I drew um, notes all over her dress when she was trying it on. I just chose like whatever fabric. And of course I always warn people, I go, when you have the mock-up, please don't freak out. It's gonna be the ugliest fabric that I have just to throw away, like to use and throw away because we want to make sure that this can fit you before I cut the actual fabric because at that point, if I mess up, I'm buying fabric again to do, you know what I mean? So, so um, I put cups, I had some, I have some like throwaway cups that I use for mock-ups um, that came from another dress. Again, like I recycle all kinds of stuff and I hoard. So I put some cups in here, even though this pattern did not, like this is what I'm saying, like I'm kind of adding on to it. Cause you need to be able to build a bodice. It, it just can't be a flimsy little t-shirt up here. It has to have structure. So this one did say to put an interfacing. Um, so I did put an interfacing and then I put in some cups here. Also the, that pattern, the 6241, it does have darts that go down. Okay. I, I can see in my camera that looks a little bit better. So the original, this 6241, it has, darts that come down the front it, it is shaped a little bit somewhat in the back i mean on the sides excuse me and in that dress too now i'm just talking about the bodice i'll get to the skirting later uh, she's a little bit bigger than this mannequin so i just have it pinned right now but in the actual dress that they want it's not a zip up back it's a lace up back so See if I can. I don't know if you could see. Like I did the notes because it. I mean, you, when you close it, it can't be like this. It's not a zipper. There have there is some space when you lace it up, so you can see the lace. Um, it does have a what do you call a modesty flap, so that way when it's laced up and you still have the space, you're not seeing the flesh from the back. So a lot of corsets have this, it's a modesty flap, so you don't see like your skin being squished <laughs> to death. And again, so you just don't see the flesh because this goes down kind of low, like where your butt crack would kind of be. So again, you want that modesty flap just to cover your bits. I will go over in this video how to do the little loops. Um, so this, like I said, this is modified from that pattern. Okay, so talking about modifications before we begin. So I had, you know, I did take, I, I did use this mannequin a little bit to help shape. And um, when I put this on, hold on, let me try to pull it in the back. I mean, if you were to just do this straight from the pattern without having someone try it on and then do the, the readjustments, the, the fit is nuts, but this is where, you know, we, we're going, we're fixing it, right? So I had to take in a little bit more of the dart so that way it shapes the cuff a little bit better. And then also I added in these little darts up here in the corners of the bust. Again, just, just to shape it like, like that closer to the chest because it was like, it was gapy and you, we, we can't have anything gapy. Um, so, so I did that. And again, all this you do, you may not have to do that. Everybody's body type is different, but in doing this pattern and then making it as I did, I, I found that to, to better shape it, I needed to put the darts in the corners here and take in a little bit more on the darts in the front underneath the bust. Now in this pattern, uh, as crazy as it sounds, I don't know, this is, this pattern's like, from the 80s, I guess I didn't use boning in the 80s, which is like a total lie because they did, but that pattern didn't call for boning. I always talk like I'm disgusted with these patterns, don't I? I these patterns suck, but. Anyways, back, back to the topic. I know I'm always like, ugh, this horrible pattern. But it just shows you do have to put in a little extra work. Also, let me see if I can take this apart. So again, this, this first part of the video is just about sourcing the materials, what you have to do with your mock-up. 
So I put boning, where is it? I put boning from all the way up here, like five, of, of course taking into account stopping where the, the seam allowance is because you can't sew over boning. So it, it, it stops right at where I over top stitched it because I had, had to stop at the, the um, seam allowance. So I have boning all the way from here. It goes over the bust and then it stops right before the torso starts. So I have that in both fronts. And again, that's to shape. I have it on each side, boning. And then I also put boning in the back. And then um, I didn't do it for the mock-up because I was just like, because I, as I suspected, I'm going to have to trim some of this off to make it a little bit wider so we could lace it up tighter. So I didn't put any boning over here, but when I do get the real part cut out and sewn up, I'm going to put a boning right next to the, to the lace up. Let me bring this up. I'm going to end up putting boning right about here. So right now I have boning in the center where you see this dart right here there's a dart in the back and then when i'm do the real thing i'm going to put boning right where it laces up but again i didn't do it because i figured i'm not going to waste boning and put it here when i'm probably gonna have to cut it off which i am i'm gonna have to cut this whole line pen line off and reshape it now for this gown also you can use the the exact same skirt I, I didn't, I, I, I took a different route, but it's, it's basically just an A-line skirt bottom that's to the floor, right? It's just an A-line skirt bottom. Um, I did mine slightly different, but you can, like I, I chose to do the pattern for the skirt on my own. And I'm basically, I just I just laid it down on the floor, and I did like a, like a right triangle type shape. Of course, taking into account the the waist size um, on the width. So I did it in. I tried to do it in two pieces, but this this fabric that I, I used this to make the skirt was not wide enough. So I have. I did it in four pieces. Ideally, I would have liked to only have done it in two pieces, cut on the fold, but I couldn't, so. Which, which is fine, you know what I mean? So, I don't know if you can tell. It's just like a right triangle, but again, that, that's up to you, so that's how I did that. Just go over some of the things you're going to need for the actual dress. Now, like I said, I have like my throwaway reusable cups for mock-ups, but I bought actual brand new molded foam bra cups. Now I shop exclusively at Joann's because um, I still teach there even though right now because of COVID we don't have classes, I'm still like employed. So I get, I go to Joann's because I get my employee discount. And also in town, it's really, the only central located fabric store and a lot of times i like to meet up there with my clients because they're like well i don't know what the fabric's gonna feel like and i go we can have like a little field trip and go and you can test the fabric and you can tell me from what i was gonna suggest to use if you like this fabric or not so we just do that i know a lot of people don't like the fabric from there but it you know i just use what i got and it's it's, it's convenient, you know what I mean? If you understand that. I also got brand new black thread. Um, I think overall I got three spools of it at 110 yards. Then, new projects, especially for special occasions. I mean, you should be doing this for every project, but in case you get lazy, don't be lazy on special occasion uh, projects. So I got a brand new pack of Microtex needles, 7010. 
because I don't want any, when I'm sewing, any like catching of the threads and then it makes like a little snag in it. Sometimes that happens with needles, even if it's brand new, I don't know. So just make sure you get the right needle, you know what I mean? Because it could be a brand new needle, but not the right needle for your project and that still might happen in my experience. Um, also, the dress has an overlay. I'll bring the picture back up. The dress has an overlay of a black tool or mesh. So I got material for that. I also got a thicker, a little bit of a thicker interfacing than what I used on the mock-up. Because again, this bodice I want and then of course the boning, but I'm going to reuse the boning that's in the mock-up because I used it from the actual purchase of materials. So they sell this boning at Joann's. They sell it covered in white or black. Also, for the bottom of the skirt, I got horsehair braid. Kind of looks like that. And that just gives a little bit of, of structure to the hem of the dress. Then for the skirt and top, I'm using the same fabric I got from Joann's. It's called Casa. It's the Casa Collection line of special occasion fabrics that they offer there. And this one is in, this one's just called Crepe. And I got it in black. I'm just trying to see if you can tell the texture of this fabric. It, it's a good weight. Um, and I didn't, I didn't want anything like too delicate, lightweight. Uh, could I use the word flimsy for fabric? I guess I could. I guess the weight, the ounces, is what I'm looking for. On this glorious Monday, I cannot think. And then, of course, last but not least, your lining fabric. That's going to go, obviously, on the inside of the, the bodice and the skirt. Um, let me see, is there anything else? No, that, that's it for that. Of course, the two peacock appliques, which I am putting the links in the description below. So, and also the reason why I, I chose to use a pattern and not just gray this. Uh, one, I need to make content. <laughs> and two, if I'm going to be giving such a tutorial uh, explain explanatory video on such a dress as this if you're gonna recreate it it would help you to have an actual pattern because then you you can follow instructions from this to help you create the base and then just go off more what I elaborate to make this dress which is to add the boning uh, where the darts are in the back the lace up um, the cups and again dress I was looking at the, the thing it, it did not I'll check again no it doesn't ask for cups like that's just insane to me but anyways enough about how much I hate patterns um, so my next thing is I'm going to deconstruct the mock-up redo the paper pattern transfer my markings, do I still have the paper pattern here? Yeah, because I drew on the paper pattern. Um, initially it had wider darts, but I, I narrowed them out when I took them in. Which I don't mind, I don't, I mean, I'm, I, I'll write on my patterns, but I don't, I don't care. Um, so yeah, you can just transfer that or make an, a new copy of this and then transfer all your changes from there to the new copy and then you can start cutting out like I said all the nice fabric which, I'm, which is what I'm going to do in the next week and a half is deconstruct this and then uh, prep my paper pattern for what I just said um, so thank you so much for watching sticking around like I said this is going to be a couple less than several video series on this dress. 
but we're gonna make it. And if you wanna have this dress too and you don't wanna take the chance of wearing it online and it being a disaster, stay tuned, okay? Like and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.